Good afternoon. I am Greene County Prosecutor David Hayes, uh, and first I want to thank all of you for being here today. On December 16th of last year, Zachary Turner, who was living on the campus of Wright State University, was indicted for multiple felony offenses, including rape, kidnapping, and abduction. The state has alleged the defendant victimized two separate women on two separate occasions in October of 2020. The crimes are alleged to have occurred at Zachary Turner's apartment on the campus of Wright State University. This indictment was the result of an investigation conducted by the Wright State University Department of Public Safety and the Greene County Prosecutor's Office. I'd like to thank Lieutenant Holden and Lieutenant Cox and the entire uh, staff of the Wright State Department of Public Safety for their work on the case. I especially want to thank Green County Prosecutor's Office Investigator Fred Meadows for his assistance. This case will be handled by Assistant Prosecutor Michelle Henney, who is to my left, and Assistant Prosecutor Bill Morrison. Since the announcement of the indictment and the subsequent media coverage, two additional women have come forward making allegations of similar conduct against Zachary Turner. Those allegations are currently being investigated. One of those alleged victims is from the Miami Valley area. The second is from Westchester in Butler County near Cincinnati. I want to reiterate at this stage, the charges in the indictment and any additional charges that may arise are allegations. Under the law, Zachary Turner is presumed to be not guilty. That being said, if anyone watching this broadcast or reading this in the newspaper or on the internet has any additional information regarding criminal conduct on the part of Zachary Turner, or if you believe that you have been victimized by Zachary Turner, I urge you to contact the Greene County Prosecutor's Office Attorney's Investigator Fred Meadows, and he can be reached at 937-562-5259. Thank you. And I will take any questions if anyone has them. So these two, uh, these two women that have come forward, sir, are they, the allegations they're making, are they also alleging that this happened on Wright State's campus Those, at his apartment or? Well, the two that are, the two that have come forward that are currently under investigation, again, they're under investigation, so I'm not going to talk about the specific facts. But they're making similar allegations to? They have alleged similar conduct on the part of Zachary Turner. That's correct. Is it accurate to call it, you know, sexual assault or rape allegations? I mean, they're of the same, the same nature. I, and again, at this point, I'm only prepared to say because they they are still being investigated that they have made allegations of similar conduct uh, to what is contained in the indictment. Can you reassure if there is in fact additional victims out there that their identity will be will remain confidential if they come forward? I can tell you that we take great pains to ensure the confidentiality of victims who do not want to proceed to uh, the, through the criminal justice system. Uh, but for those who do, for those who believe that they have been victimized, or for anyone who has information uh, related to Zachary Turner, uh, we do ask that they come forward by, again, contacting our investigator, Fred Meadows, at 937-562-5259. With the understanding that this investigation is still ongoing, is there, are you willing to talk about the specific areas that were this individual, individuals may have engaged in where these things may have happened? Because there is a pending indictment against Mr. Turner that is still in litigation, uh, I will not speak beyond the public record, which is the affidavit uh, that was filed in municipal court, uh, which is a public record. And because the two additional uh, women who have come forward, uh, that is still in the nascent stage of the investigation. Again, I'm not going to talk about the specific facts. Would you be willing to go as far as to state that because of this incident that the security levels at Wright State have improved? Uh, not that they were bad, but they stepped it up a little bit more. I, I'm not going to comment on the security levels at Wright State. Again, I'm going to reiterate that this was handled uh, professionally by the Wright State Department of Public Safety. Uh, they contacted us and asked for assistance, which we provided with our investigator, Fred Meadows. Uh, and as a Wright State alumnus myself, I can tell you it was always a safe place when I was there. Do you currently have indictments on, um, what, is, is that a fact? There are charges that have come down? That is correct. And those charges, again, are? There are multiple felony offenses, including rape, kidnapping, and abduction. 
and these it's allegations, are they coming from a known victim? Was there some sort of uh, relationship between the alleged victims and the individual indicted, or were these uh, not known at all? Well, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid the specific facts related to the additional charges. Uh, I'm not talking about the, I'm talking about the uh, what's indicted? What's indicted? Yes. Uh, what's indicted, is, is what, as is reflected in the public record, uh, is that they, uh, Zachary Turner and the victims met through uh, an application, a computer application, um, on your phone, a phone app. Dating app, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does, does this affect at all the current case he's got pending here in Green County Common Police Court with the first two victims? Does this affect at all the, the track of that as it moves its way? Down the, through the legal system, or is that does that just keep on moving? And you know, you might file an indicted indictment or a superseding indictment as it goes forward. I think everything that you said is a possibility. And you got well, when you asked about you know if you think you might be a victim or you have any information on him, you're not saying there are additional victims out there, but if 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 people think they may have been victimized, to still come forward to your office. That's absolutely correct and a critical point. Uh, this. Uh, press conference is prompted by uh, the fact that when we initially uh, put the media, uh, well, after the initial media coverage of the first indictment, that's when we had these additional women come forward. Uh, and as a result of that, we wanted to um, just communicate again to the public uh, and find out if there is anyone who has additional information uh, related to Zachary Turner. I'm just curious, when you guys put out the, when the media coverage circulated about the indictment in December, are we talking? Just roughly, was this a few days, a few weeks? Like, what was the timeline between it sort of being published and these 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 other folks coming forward and talking to your office? I, I can tell you, it was shortly thereafter. Mr. Turner is currently locked up under bond. That's correct. And his bond is. I do not know uh, specifically what his bond is, um, but again, that's a matter of public record. Is his case being slowed down because of COVID? The ability to move forward. I'm. Well, COVID has affected all every case that's pending before the Green County Common Police Court. So the short answer to that question is yes, but there's nothing specific about his case that has resulted in, uh, that has been affected by COVID. Does he have a trial date? I believe he does have a trial date, and I believe it's in March. Would you, it, if, if you can prove out these allegations of these additional two, would you guys try to get those charges added to his trial by March, or just it would be added to the case as a whole? Event? That might affect the timing of I think at this point it would be premature to speculate as to what the result would be of any further investigation. If that's uh, all the questions, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir.